Let us now take the first model from coded inequalities where different symbols are used to represent the relationship between two variables based on which we are supposed to find out which of the given conclusions are true. First of all, let us understand the given question here. It says a at the rate b means a is greater than b. So wherever we find the at the rate symbol, we should replace that with the greater than symbol. Similarly, a hash b means a is less than or equal to b. A dollar B means A less than B. A star B means A is equal to B. And the last one here is A cap B or A power B means A is greater than or equal to B. So this information is given to us where each symbol has been represented with inequality. Now the question here has got some statements that is L hash V, V dollar E, E cap U and U at the rate B. And it has got three conclusions b dollar e l dollar e and b star l what we need to do here is assume that the given statements are true and then we have to find out which of the given conclusions follow the given statements now to solve this question we first of all need to replace each of these symbols with the proper inequality so here we can say that l hash v we know that hash is nothing but less than or equal to. So we can say that L hash V is nothing but L less than or equal to V. The second statement here is V dollar E. We know that dollar is nothing but less than. So we can say V less than E. The next statement is E cap U. Cap means greater than or equal to. So we can say E greater than or equal to U. And the last one is U at the rate B. So by replacing with the greater than symbol from the given information we get U greater than B. Now, once we have replaced each of the symbols with the proper inequality, let us now find out the combined statement. That is, let us try to join all these four parts into one in equation. That is, if you observe, we know that L is less than or equal to V. And the next part here is V less than E. So if we try to merge these two statements, V gets removed and we get L less than or equal to V, V less than E. Similarly, let us now join these two statements. So we get V less than E and E is greater than or equal to U. So by combining that, we can simply replace here as E greater than or equal to U. And the last part is U greater than B. So we can say U is greater than B. So this is the combined statement which we have got from the given question. And now we need to decide which of these conclusions are true. Again, we need to first replace these symbols with the proper inequality. So we know that in the first one we have b dollar e which means b less than e. The second one again is l dollar e so l less than e and the third one is b star l and from the given information we know that star is nothing but equal to so we can say b is equal to l. Now if you observe the first conclusion here b and e have been compared and the conclusion here is b less than e. So let us try to find out the relationship between B and E from the statement given in the question. Now if you look at the statement here, we know that B is less than U. Remember, U is greater than B. So when we come from the reverse side, we can say B is less than U and U is less than or equal to E. So if we try to observe B less than U, U less than or equal to E. So the relationship between B and E here will be B less than E. Since there are two similar inequalities, we need to consider the common part between them as a relationship here. So if you observe, less than is the common part in these two cases. So we can say B is less than E and that itself is the given conclusion. So we can say that conclusion number one is true. The second conclusion here is L less than E. The given statement is L less than or equal to V, V less than E. Now again, based on the second rule, we know that whenever we have similar inequalities, we can consider the common part between them as a relationship. So we can say that the relationship between L and E should be L less than E as the less than inequality is present in both the inequalities here. So the relationship between L and E should be L less than E and that itself is given in the conclusion. So conclusion number two is also true. The third and the last conclusion is B equals to L. If we try to compare B and L here, we come to a conclusion that B and L cannot be compared as we have dissimilar inequalities between them. 
so b and l cannot be compared that means b can be less than l b can be greater than l or b can be equal to l all the three cases are possible whereas the given conclusion is b is equal to l which cannot be true so conclusion number three is false so our answer for this question should be one and two are the two conclusions let us now take the second example based on model one we have already learned all the different symbols with their meanings only the statements and conclusions have been changed now the statements given here are m dollar t t star r r at the rate h h hash g and there are three given conclusions we need to find out which of these conclusions are true so as already discussed first we need to replace each of these symbols with the correct meaning from the given information and we need to form a consolidated statement from all these four parts given to us let us try to find out the correct statement with the help of the given information we know that m dollar t dollar means less than so we can say m less than t the next part here is t star r and star means equal to so we can say t is equal to r now friends instead of writing t equals to r separately and then combining the two statements let us directly try to merge them i know that t is equal to r so we can simply write t equals to r the third part here is r at the rate h and from the information given there we know at the rate is greater than so we can say r greater than h and the last statement here is h hash g hash means less than or equal to so we can say h is less than or equal to g so one point which you have observed here is we are not writing the statements separately and then trying to merge them instead we can directly merge all the variables with the help of the given information so don't waste your time in writing each of the statements and then merging them let us now try to replace the symbols in all these conclusions the first one here is m dollar h dollar is nothing but less than so we can say m less than h the second one is r at the rate g at the rate is greater than so we can say r greater than g and the third one is m hash r hash means less than or equal to so we can say m less than or equal to r we now need to find out which of the given conclusions are true the first one here is between m and h m less than h if we try to look at the statement here and compare m and h our conclusion should be m and h cannot be compared because here we have dissimilar inequalities between them that is rule number 3 whenever we have dissimilar inequalities between two variables those two variables cannot be compared and cannot be compared here means m can be greater than h can be less than h or it can be equal to h but the statement says it is less than h which may not be true always so conclusion number 1 is false the conclusion number 2 is r greater than g if we try to compare r and g we find that there are dissimilar inequalities between r and g that is one is greater than the other is less than or equal to again by applying rule number 3 we can say that r and g cannot be compared why because r can be less than g can be greater than g or can be equal to g but the given conclusion says r is greater than g which may not be true always so even conclusion number 2 is false and the last one here is m less than or equal to r if we try to compare m with r here we know that m is less than t and t is equal to r now equality means these two variables that is t and r can be interchanged so what we can say here is m is less than r which is nothing but t so the only point which we can make out here is m is less than r but the given conclusion says m is less than or equal to r so even conclusion number 3 is false so our answer here should be all the three conclusions are false none of them is true remember friends in the last case you are seeing that we have a less than symbol and an equal to symbol doesn't mean that the combination will be less than or equal to the answer should be m less than r that is the reason the third conclusion is false so the answer here should be all the conclusions are false none of them is true let us now take another example based on the model that we have just discussed here again the information given remains same only the statements and conclusions have changed so the statements are t hash w w dollar q q cap d and d at the rate g so let us first find out the correct in equation and then verify which of the given conclusions are true so we know that hash is nothing but less than or equal to so we can say t less than or equal to w 
W dollar Q. Dollar means less than. So we can say W less than Q. So we get W less than Q. Q cap D. Cap is nothing but greater than or equal to. So we can say Q greater than or equal to D. And the last one here is D at the rate J. And at the rate means greater than. So we can say D greater than J. So this is the consolidated statement that we have made out of the given statements. Now the three conclusions are J dollar T. Dollar is nothing but less than. So we can say J less than T. The second one here is T hash J. Hash is nothing but less than or equal to. So we can say T less than or equal to J. And the last one here is T dollar Q. So dollar here is nothing but less than. So again we can say T less than Q. So these are the three conclusions and now we need to check how many of them are correct. Now keeping in mind those three rules let us just quickly find out which of the given conclusions are true. The first one here is J less than T. So let us try to compare J and T from the statement that we have obtained. If you try to compare J and T, the different inequalities we have in between them are less than equal to, less than, greater than equal to and greater than. That means very clearly we have got dissimilar inequalities between T and J. And from rule number 3, we know that whenever we find dissimilar inequalities, the two variables cannot be compared. And cannot be compared here again means T can be less than J, can be more than J or can be equal to J. So the conclusion number 1 here is false as it only says j is less than t but j can be greater than t or it can also be equal to t so conclusion one is false moving to conclusion number two we know that t is less than or equal to j let us now compare t and j again the same rule is applicable we have dissimilar inequalities between them and hence t and j cannot be compared so we simply cannot say that t is less than or equal to j why because it can also be greater than j so even conclusion number 2 is false. And the last conclusion here is T dollar Q. That is nothing but T less than Q. And by comparing T and Q, we find that the different inequalities between them are less than equal to and less than. From rule number 2, we know that whenever we have similar inequalities, we need to consider the minimum common part. So the common part here, which is there in each one of them, is less than. So very clearly the relationship between T and Q should be T less than Q. So conclusion number 3 is true. But friends, there is one important point which is to be noted here. If you observe conclusion numbers 1 and 2, independently they are false. But then conclusion number 1 says J less than T and conclusion number 2 says T less than or equal to J. Which is nothing but J greater than or equal to T. So if you now try to combine conclusion number 1 and 2, we find that J is less than T in conclusion 1. In conclusion 2, J is greater than T or J is equal to T. That means we have already learned that there are three types of comparison, either less than or greater than or equal to. And by combining the first two conclusions, we get each one of them, J less than T, J greater than T and J equal to T. So independently conclusion number 1 and conclusion number 2 are false but if we combine conclusion 1 and 2 any one of them has to be correct. Why because the complete sample space is included in both the conclusions here. So we can now say that conclusion number 3 is definitely true but at the same time either 1 or 2 has to be true. So the answer for this question should be conclusion 3 and either 1 or 2 must be true. So friends, one important point which we have learned here is whenever we have different conclusions, if a combination of any two of them covers the complete sample space that is less than, greater than and equal to, we have to consider them as either 1 or 2 has to be true. So here either 1 or 2 is true and 3 is definitely true. So that is our answer. 3 and either 1 or 2 must be true.